thanks to advances in lithium-ion battery technology, today's cordless mowers are more powerful and can run for longer. And they're packed with innovative features. But just how good are they? To find out, I've come to a place where they take grass cutting extremely seriously. This is the Belfry Hotel and Resort. It has three meticulously maintained golf courses and has hosted the prestigious Ryder Cup on no less than four occasions. Angus MacLeod is the director of greenkeeping and estates here. It's his job to maintain the extremely high standards required. Angus, hello. Uh, good morning. Hello. I mean, how much grass is there here? Oh, wow. We have, uh, we have nearly 600 acres of grass, all manicured. Wow, that's a lot of grass. Luckily for him, I've brought along three mowers and he's agreed to help me find out if any of them can cut it. First up is the G-Tech Cordless 2.0. Its aerodynamically inspired styling might be an acquired taste, but its 48 volt rechargeable lithium ion battery promises a long run time and brisk charging. Next is the futuristic Bosch Universal Rotac 36550, which looks like something from the set of Blade Runner. You could alter the cutting height at the click of a button. And finally, the Ryobi 18 volt one plus cordless 40 centimeter brushless lawnmower. It's got the longest name, and you can add an extra battery to keep the mowing flowing. Test one battery life at the driving range. Angus has roped in Anna from his team to help out, and she's bagged the G Tech. He's coupled up with the Bosch, and I'll be cutting it up with the Ryobi 18 volt one plus cordless 40 centimeter brushless lawnmower. Jolly good, let's go. We're starting off with all our batteries fully charged and we're going to stay in formation and keep mowing until our batteries run out. The last mower mowing wins. What's the ideal pace? <laughs> Four kilometres an hour, probably a bit nice. You need a speedometer. With a push mower, they say you lose about 380 calories in 30 minutes. It's going to be fun to see who's got the best stamina. <laughs> ah, right, I see. Ominously, as we approach the 250-yard marker for the very first time, my Ryobi cuts out. I've stopped! I've stopped! I've stopped! Why have I stopped? Is your battery out? It can't be already, surely. That's no time at all. <laughs> it's not the battery, and I've no idea why it suddenly stopped. A quick reset does the job, though, and we press on. It's hurting my greenkeeper heart. Our lines are all over the place. I look as though I'd be making a, a slightly drunken path. We're just starting to settle into a rhythm. When you're cutting a straight line, try and focus on something ahead of you. And enjoy a lovely mower chat. It's supposed to be a very good lawn mower museum in Southport. When? Oh, no, we've stopped again. I've stopped again. And another minute later. Oh, no, I've stopped again. I've stopped again. Yes, it's, I'm holding everyone up. I'm conscious of that. Finally, after it cuts out for the fourth time, Oh. Man down. I've had enough. I've abandoned that. Because both of these can cope with this longer grass. You're still chumping away. It's now a two mower race. G Tech versus Bosch. I quite enjoy lawn mowing. It's something I can actually do in the That's garden. It's therapeutic, isn't it? Yes. Is your I'm just beginning to struggle on power now. to struggle losing power on Bosch? Yes. The Bosch's battery dies after 29 minutes and 53 seconds. While Anna and the G Tech. I'm gonna see who dies first, me or the lawnmower. <laughs> I think my battery's gonna go first. Keep going for an impressive 40 minutes and 32 okay. seconds. There we yes. are. <laughs> right, the battery round goes to the G Tech. On to our second test quietness. Very important here on the golf course. When you're heading for that vital birdie putt, the last thing you need is a noisy lawnmower screaming past. Right. Oh, that was close. Can we do that thing where you cut to it, you know, going in at the end? To measure how quiet our mowers are, Angus and I decide to test them at the sort of range a close neighbour might be mowing their lawn while you try and relax in the sun, which we've determined to be five metres. And this, this is the decibel meter for you to check your machines? Absolutely. Proper approved instrument. That's good. I'll put it exactly five metres away from the cutting strip at its closest point. So, stand by. First up is our currently leading mower, the G-Tech. And go. 
Well, that's 64.6. You can certainly hear it when it hits longer grass. So, let's move on now to the Bosch. OK. This actually makes a feature of its quietness. It has pro-silence technology, apparently. OK, no pressure. Go. It's quieter than the GTEC. 61.9 decibels, but it's interesting that uh, all the noise seemed to be actually on startup. Again, no complaints. And lastly, the Ryobi 18 volt one plus cordless 40 centimeter brushless lawnmower. And go. Well, that's uh, 62 decibels for the Ryobi, which actually is quite quiet. No complaints from customers with that. No, I don't think any of them are actually sufficiently noisy to annoy your neighbours, I don't think. Absolutely, I agree. But the winner of the quietness test is definitely the Bosch. And so to our final and most important test, the quality of the cut. Angus is putting each mower at its lowest setting and cutting a line through the semi-rough so he can get all forensic on the grass. He's brought along a very professional gardening gadget, which employs a prism to give you a fascinating worm's eye view of the cut. So let's start with the GTEC. Let's have a look. Looking at this, uh, the cut uniformity isn't too bad. A clean cut. Oh, yes. Oh, happy with that. Yes, happy with that. Let's move on to the Bosch. But you, can, you can actually see it, uh, it's given the better, the better cut quality and it's pretty consistent. Mm, so you think the Bosch is actually a better cut? A better cut than the, than the GTEC. The the yes. Let's see what the Ryobi looks yes. like. It's left a lot of clippings. However, the actual cut quality is the best. Really? Uh, it's tighter uh, and it's more uniform. Oh, yes. I see what you mean. So when it's going... But it's, it's actually, going. It does do a, a very even cut. It's just unfortunate that it's not picking up very well. Ah, so mm. nothing's perfect. Nothing's perfect. So, three mowers, three tests, and I think it's fair to say we've seriously smoked some grass today. But now to Angus's conclusion. What's your preferred one overall out of these three, Angus? I was going for the GTEC, however, I've changed my mind, and the Bosch, for me, for the cut quality and the quietness, yep. has, has won it for me.